Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev, and we are back with more Between the Stars. Thank you for joining me yet again. And after our last big battle in the last episode, we are now heading in to report to our commander. If we get there without a battle, you never know. Planets are always the worst. You never know until you act it actually zooms away whether you made it or not. Because I've gotten in fights this close before. Control room. Ooh, Requesting okay. landing permission. Please hold, Captain. Whoa, Bradley. I see you've recovered. It's a shame. I thought we'd never have to see each other again. You won't run that kind of luck. It takes more than a few scouts to kill Jesse Bradley. Permission granted. Please go to the assigned coordinates. Admiral Mason is waiting for us. Well, that took entirely too long. Well, where's the other one? There's only one there. Ah, there it is. The crew begins to prepare the ship for landing at the headquarters, and for the first time in quite some time, you feel relieved. These last few weeks had been especially stressful, but it seemed that everything had ended well. Now, okay, not only the SMC accepted the alliance to wipe out the Children of the Sun, but Bradley seemed to have recovered, though not definitive. The sweet taste of victory gave you a glimpse of hope. <sighs> you know, when you read something like that, you're, you're just like, where's the other shoe going to drop? You leave the ship after checking Patrick's condition. There was no doubt that he was a tough kid. His wounds heal at a good pace, and the medical team in the headquarters... It would only take a few days for him to fully recover again, huh? Oh, and with the medication. Okay, I messed up that sentence. You seem, you send some of your, okay, let's just start the whole paragraph again. You leave the ship after checking Patrick's condition. There was no doubt that he was a tough kid. His wounds healed at a good pace, and with the medical team in the headquarters, it would only take a few days for him to be fully recovered again. You send some of your crew to take the recruit to the medical center, and you get off the ship. Leaving the landing platform, you are surprised to see Bradley fully recovered. He certainly looked much better than when your crew took him to the medical center on the verge of death. Yeah, a couple episodes ago, he was like, we rescued him from certain death of his own stupidity yeah let's see. yeah we'll be positive come on ravenites don't make this any more uncomfortable than it already is i owe you my life that day you wiped out the enemies and came back for me and my crew after how we had behaved with you i apologize for the way i treated you oh wow a little growth you have proven yourself to be the most reliable person in this facility after the admiral what i am trying to say revenite is well you know, thanks for saving my ass. He was absolutely right. It had been very uncomfortable. You had never heard Bradley say a kind word, uh, a few kind words, and it was strange that they were directed at you. When I woke up, the Admiral was furious. After yelling at me for hours, she put me in the control room for a while. She says that that's the only way I'll learn my lesson, but I know she's done to give me some recovery time. Sometimes I think she's too benevolent. We don't want any captain scratch. Oh, scratching a ship on landing. Hmm. Okay. Um. Come on, the admiral's waiting for us. Together, you go to the command room where Admiral Kendon Mason awaits you. The gate servo motors roar. As they open and you see the Admiral leading the team as they send messages one after the other. Mason sees you and heads towards you. I've been waiting for you, Captain. We have a problem. Of course. You knew that tranquility wouldn't last long. Sooner or later, the Children of the Sun would make a move after the capture of Artemis Hub. Now, Nordos had been defeated for the first time and knew that the alliance between the Republic and SMC was more dangerous than ever. 
The SMC has given us complete control after their intervention. With their fleet and ours, we'll fly together to recover the lost sectors. All thanks to you. The attack on the Artemis hub was suspended. Okay. What's the matter then? That Nartos withdrew the troops protecting Artemis hub was no coincidence. We don't know what their target is, but we have been informed of the advance of enemy ships to the dome. Ooh, what's the dome? The dome is the largest prison in the interstellar... Oh, it's major prison break. Okay, controlled by Commander Thompson. It is a fortress where the worst criminals in the galaxy are guarded. A bottomless pit where to bury individuals so savage that their mere existence poses a complete risk to society. Ooh, yeah, why is he going there? Admiral Nose has lost countless men in combat, leaving aside the mercenary clans of Equians? Mm -hmm. Who would never join forces with the children of the sun? The dome seems their best option. It is in confined it. in it are confined hundreds of men plus all the prisoners who would not hesitate to kill us, their captors, at the earliest possible opportunity. Yeah, because they all hate you guys. Mm-hmm. Oh, we got some choices. I doubt it. I hate to admit it, but Nartos is a prag pragmatic man. Attempting to attack us in our own headquarters, despite the advantage it would give us, is not his style. He wants us to know what his intentions are to get us out. Every man he manages to get outside our control zone opens the doors of the headquarters a little more for him. That did sound like Nartos. Killing two birds with one stone. The protection of the dome would make your army split up to leave in open space where the children could hunt you down. Although the prison of the Republic was armed to the teeth to avoid assaults, it had never been, it had never had to face an entire army. Not sending reinforcements ensured their victory. Sending them put you out of dis- Oh, crap. Great. You know, I hate it when they do this to you. <sighs> Doesn't leave us with many choices. Yeah, we'll just say that. If Nartos had the capacity to assault the headquarters, he would have done it immediately. He may think he's not that he's got the hand of the situation, but he doesn't beat us yet. With the SMC Alliance, we will protect the dome and prevent its men from releasing the inmates. You were right. Before arriving at the station, they would have had to defeat your ships and the prison's defense systems. However, you look at it, the only possible alternative was to use the attack to inflict as much damage as possible on the army. We still have some time. We will plan the defenses and put a fleet at your disposal to stop them. If Nordos wants to play, we'll show him our best cards. Oh, boy. Does that mean we leave now? All right, so that's the ship we started with. And this is what we're rocking now. All right, so I assume once we leave the stupid planet, we'll get our next little goal set here. Yep. Several days had passed since your arrival. The SMC fleet had been summoned to the dome and were already awaiting were the arrival of the Republic ships in the area. Once all the preparations had been made, Bradley and you would lead the fleet to the prison where you would meet Commander Thompson. As soon as the soldiers were ready, all that remained was to wait until the assault on the children took place. Taking advantage of the facilities of the headquarters, you continue instructing Patrick. The young man seemed much better and was ready to return to his post within the crew. On the contrary, Bradley seemed to be much worse than he had than he had assured during these days. Although he didn't look bad, you could see him on the training camp, and he was still struggling with his injuries. He tried very hard to hide it, but clearly he was still affected by the accident. You wish he had more time to recover, but you had no such privilege. Bradley would have to manage as best he could. Yep, going to war injured, like most athletes. All right, now, are we going to get to leave? Okay. Towards, Head towards the, dome. the dome, eh? Captain, if it's because of what happened on that planet, I assure you it wasn't my intention. My interest in the local culture was merely academic. 
We talked about this, May. You pretended to be their god and forced them to worship you for weeks. You completely <laughs> lost control. It was part of my plan to rescue you. You wanted the chief of the tribe to sacrifice his firstborn. Really? She's got no answer for that? That was pretty good. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Oh, all right. So all the way down here. Uh, this is a brand new system. Okay. So before... We get into it, do a quick look at our ship. See our stats down here. Uh, hole is 4340, shield 4079, recharge, all the good bits. I think I've gotten, yeah, everybody's already been leveled and I'm through all my scrap. So we are good. Let's head towards the dome. We've been waiting for you, Captain. Normal the station. SMC fleet arrived several days ago, and the soldiers are waiting for you, along with the two captains, under your orders. Captains under my orders? Captain Burroughs and Captain Dunn have informed me that they fought under your command at Artemis Hub. I led the attack provisionally, but they aren't under my command. Something tells me they're going to want to be. Of course, you want to, you want to, logically, you want to follow the one guy or the, the person that has gotten everybody's asses out of the fire before. And since we've been kicking butt in our kick-ass new ship, um, I would think that would be the goal. Although I do wonder if there are any bigger and better ships. If you know... Let me know down in the comments. And while you're at it, hit that like button. I appreciate it. Channel keeps growing. Oh, there's only one thing to go to. Okay, here we go. You dock the ship and disembark. The assigned SMC fleet by order of Admiral Mason ha had already been at the station for several days. You had to find Commander Thompson and gather the captains to prepare the defense of the prison. You advance along the Great Corridor until you reach the gates guarded by a few armed guards who let you pass immediately. The gigantic hall impresses you. The columns support several dozen walkways that surround the enclosure. These are used to access the upper levels. In the middle of the structure formed by the corridors, you can contemplate an immense transparent dome located at the top of the room. Ooh, that really sounds unsecure for a prison station. Wonderful, isn't it? I've always found the main hall impressive. It's funny, most of our new inmates don't even notice it when they come in, but in a few weeks, they'll give anything to see a glimpse of it. There are no more views to the outside of the prison. Hmm. Thompson contains his laughter, and you assume that's no. Ooh, so it sounds like it's max uh, security. Just a box to live in. Ew, that is no good. You feel a chill. Long stays on the ship could be really overwhelming. Despite the space and view of the galaxy, you couldn't even imagine what it would be like in a 2x2 two two meter gray room. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, I'd be horrible. The prison guards have already taken up positions. Captain Ravenite, the SMC captains are waiting for you along with the other two captains. This way. Yeah, whew. You go up several floors before leaving the main zone through one of the corridors. The commander leads you through the convoluted corridors that look exactly the same to you until you end up in a huge gate that opens in your path. That was be one of the prison's control rooms, an enormous space full of monitors where more than 20 men gave instructions by radio while they stared at the screen placed in front of them. Farther away from the monitors, you see a group of men talking to each other. Among them, you can clearly distinguish the Captain Burroughs and Dunn. It's good to see you again, Captain Ravenite. Dunn was starting to worry. He thought they might have intercepted you. 
Uh, don't listen to him. Captain Burroughs has been unbearable for two days. I suggested to Major Thompson that we lock him in a cell until the attack. You can't imagine the look on her face. That woman has no sense of humor. <laughs> you go back to the group that watches you expectantly waiting for orders. Noro's attack will not be long in coming, but we will not let them catch us with a guard down. The squadrons will take defensive positions and guard the docking bridges at all times. No one will leave their post until the relief units are in position. At the slightest notice, I want a full report. If anyone or anything enters the area, even a spark of dust, I want a new. Yep. Now what? Two days had already passed since the deployment of the fleet in the dome. The fact that it had been so long since the warning of the enemy's advance made you particularly nervous. Although waiting would have allowed you to strengthen your defenses and distribute the guard shifts more effectively, you would have preferred an improvised attack a thousand times. The fact that Nordos was being so calm for the siege meant no good. Are you alright, Captain? You've been very quiet for a while. He's worried, Jackson. The children of the sun are not especially renowned for their cautiousness. Something's wrong. Yeah, yeah, I would say I'm gonna have to nod with that. But I was right. Since your arrival, you felt a sense of imminent danger. Notos might attempt a frontal attack to board the station, but that minimized his chances of success. Perhaps infiltrated agents? It was unlikely. After Daryl Flynn's betrayal, every person close to him had been investigated carefully and all higher charges had gone through Admiral Mission's exhaustive filter to, further, to prevent further betrayals. You had a hard time believing that any of the guards could sell you out. After meeting Commander Thompson and her men, it was clear how much respect and admiration they had for her. To be honest, it was not simply a matter of trust. All the soldiers assigned to protect the dome were, were nearly as much a prisoner of it as the inmates themselves. These men resided in the prison itself, day and night, watching over the security of the enclosures at all times, so they were inaccessible to the children, even if the remote possibility had been given that Nordos had taken any of them, the prison's complex camera system would have captured evidence. Jeez. Yeah, no doubt, the guards would be almost as screwed. Yeah, just in case. You keep thinking about it compulsively. The prison cameras were monitor monitored by no less than 30 men who watched the immobilized inmates at all times. What risk could be gained? Could a... Oh, I'm sorry. What risk could a chained, isolated man present inside the safest cells in the galaxy? Many of the prisoners were children of the sun, convicted of various crimes against the Republic, but it was impossible for them to carry out any kind of riot. The prisoners never crossed each other, and in the few moments they were not immobilized, several guards armed to the teeth were keeping an eye on them. Jeez. I wonder if they, like, had them in, you know, a form of, like, a metal straitjacket in their cells. You were close to the solution. Leaving the infiltrated agents aside, the only thing out of your control were the inmate, but it was absolutely impossible for them to communicate with the outside world, being watched at all times without any kind of guidance. They could not know Nara's plan or anything about what was happening to in the dome. Jackson, what do you know about the dome? The dome is the largest space prison in the interstellar republic designed for prisoners under high security conditions. Some call it the Dome of Bones because of the popular belief that it is orbited by the remains of the corpses of the former prisoners, which the guards throw away through the garbage extractors. Wait a minute. You don't think the children can get access to them, right? <laughs> no, not at all. The whole situation is guarded. Do you know when it was founded? Star date 5577-684 on the 20th anniversary of the alliance between the Interstellar Republic and Children of the Sun. The commander appears behind you, joining the conversation. Exactly. Hmm. For years, the children of the sun guarded the dome next to the Interstellar Republic. When Nartos declared war on Tesset Stella, the problems began. On that day, many of the children's units had already departed for the Space Summit. 
and the few that remained soon left the prison hours before the attack. It seems that Nardos had everything well planned. The Children of the Sun must have been preparing their attack for decades. One moment. Commander, what kind of control do the inmates go through on entry? When an inmate arrives at the dome, his clothing and any personal items are seized. Doctors perform an x-ray inspection to ensure that no contraband is smug smuggled into the prison. Once they are confined, cleaned, the inmate undergoes a health check in which further tests and examinations are conducted to confirm that he or she does not have any serious contagious diseases. Are they maintained after? Of course, less, exhaust less exhaustively, though. Immobilized, immobilized inside the cells completely prevents any suspicious activity. So yeah, man, they're like in... Chained in chairs and shit. Damn. Could the medical team intentionally falsify the results? I suppose that would be possible, even though the medical team works together. Only if everyone was willing to do that would they be able to bypass the system. In any case, why would the doctors help inmates? Has there been a medical team formed? Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh-oh. Thompson started to look worried. And with good reason. With our security, the registers are nothing more than a mere formality. It would depend on the doctor's guards. But it's more than likely that... At some point, the three doctors in charge of the tests have agreed. Thompson's face is discomposed, but it's gradually relieved. Okay. I think we've been up too long, Captain. Even if the children introduced inmates with some kind of weapon, they would not be sure that their man would be there to take care of them. And if it was the doctors themselves who were in charge of... In of inducing whatever it is that it is it is that is your thinking of to the inmates what Ugh. it would not take long for the alarm to be raised among the four among the forced inmates okay that didn't make a whole lot of sense it's all good unless the inmates is one of them the sound of the explosion floods the main room <laughs> damn it which is shaken with energy as you cover yourself. You open your eyes surprised and quickly see the chaos that has been guaranteed generated. In the midst of the confusion, some guards climb up the gangways towards the detonation zone when the Commander Thompson's transmitter. Commander, two of the prisoners have blown up. We've lost the signal from several cells in the G block. Oh no. Still stunned, you hear a voice coming from your communicator. Between the sound of the screams of the troops running from the side to the other and with a Deep in your ear, you can hear Captain Bradley's voice. Captain, come in. The children of the sun have reached the section. We need reinforcements. Shaving cream. Well, of course it would be timed. It takes you a few seconds to assimilate the situation. You look at Thompson, who is motionless, and oh, it's getting loud again. Who is motionless in front of you, completely devastated. You advanced to her quickly. You needed her to keep a cool head. She was the person who best knew the prison and its defenses. She had to remain in command of the guards while the fleet repelled the children. You barely advance two steps when another detonation shakes you. Commander, gather the troops and protect the entrances. That Notos had everything thoroughly planned before the attack on Pesset Stella didn't surprise you, but using the lives of his own men, prisoners in the dome as mere explosives was a limit you thought he wouldn't exceed. <sighs> You activate the communicator and command. All squadrons, take off immediately. The soldiers of the station will have to deal with this alone. Stay as far away from the prisoners' quarters as you can and don't allow any children of the sun to disembark. Let's see, Thompson comes to her senses. Miles, Era, I want your squadrons immediately on the upper floors. All troops to battle stations. No one will escape from the dome under my command. Hold oh. your positions. Reinforcements will arrive immediately. Oh, crap. What happened? Why weren't you responding to our communications? Nardos infiltrated Children of the Sun as inmates before the attack on Tacit Stella. That coward is blowing up his own men to dead our defenses. God damn it! Captains, full power to weapons! Alright, I gotta get outside I'm of this. I'm picking up signs of a destroyer about to jump. 
Tarus' ship is coming into the area. Stay away. We can't beat him one by one. We want to get him. We must finish off the support ships first. Ooh, May that the is a hell of a lot of shit. Lead you to victory. Do not let the sacrifice of your brothers be in vain. Nardos, I'll make you pay for what you've done. They were your own men. To die for the children's is the greatest of honors, Captain. They will be remembered as heroes. Jeez, there are so many ships. How are we supposed to win this? We are really outnumbered. Part of what I can do is wait until I got my 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 thing again. Oh, there goes one ship. Hard right, U-turn. They can't hold us back. The children of the sun will burn the Republic to ashes. You're nothing but puppets at the mercy of Nardos. The Emperor controls the universe. We would gladly die under his orders. you down, Nardos. We'll never let a monster like you take over the universe. You no longer have power over the children of the sun, Captain. We will submit you to the last. You do what? Submit us to the last? What is that supposed to mean? Oh, I'm gonna kill this guy because he's out. Anybody I can catch on the edges, man. We gotta kill him. Go. Get back Captain. out. One of the docks is down. The Children of the Sun are breaching our defenses. What's the status of the rest of the docking bridges? They are at their limit. I have directed all units I have been able to contact to recover the lost bridge, but they cannot retreat from their position without the Children seizing it. There's too many of them! We can't stop their advance! Two of them right here. Six base of your brothers. Hundreds of the children of the sun have lived captive by the Republic in that gigantic cage. Break your shackles and shatter their will. May the sun light their way. Captain, the children's ships are disembarking. Commander Thompson needs you at the station. There's too many of them, Bradley. Abandoning our position would expose you. Don't worry about me, Captain. My men and I will handle it. We can give you a few minutes of cover. Make sure you make them pay. Copy that, Bradley. On my way to the station. How Thompson, the we're on our way to your position. What's the nearest clear dock? Did you hear that, May? Thompson thinks this is insane. Maybe it is for carbon-based life forms, Captain. Fasten your seatbelts. Now that's what I wanted to hear. Engines at full power. What, is she gonna take over at some point here? Oh, that's the dock we need to get to. Okay. Jeez. Seriously, how are we supposed to... Yeah, nobody would ever do this. 
You're just guaranteed the destruction of your ship if you leave it at a dock and leave it.